Hello my beautiful loves, welcome to the Self Care Tuesday. So as always, since last week, we have a little reading for you, a little self care message, a little pep talk. And you know, let's just get right into the reading. Don't forget to smash the like button and to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you haven't uh, checked last week's reading, definitely go check it out, okay? There may be a message for you there. So, starting your reading and my premeditation, I was actually getting a pretty nice view. I was getting like beach vibes, you know, a very calm, smoothing ocean. Uh, I even got like a starfish and some shells. And you know, it was everything very calm and very smooth and very, very peaceful. And I wonder if not too peaceful. <laughs> and what I mean with that is that maybe right now you're not feeling like that at all, but it's the potential of it. Is like you can have that. And how can you have that? That starfish is, was actually very important is by self-love. And that, that's why we're here, right? That's why we're doing this today. And because that starfish is divine love, but it's divine love within you. And actually, there's a card very similar to the imagery that I was getting, um, which is this Linus. You've earned all your stripes, um, which talks about like you being proud of yourself for everything you've been through. You've been proud of yourself for everything you've accomplished, from all the battles you, you fought, from everything from the person you've become, because you have, you, you, you went very far. You are now probably so different from like you were 10 years ago. And let me tell you, you are closer and closer and closer and co closer to being that person you are meant to be, if you are not already, okay? So I really feel like you should be proud of yourself for everything that you've been through, because I do feel like it was a lot. And you may feel like you haven't accomplished enough. You may feel like there's still so much to do. There's still so much to, I don't know, to fight for, you know. And again, you've already done a lot. So really be proud of yourself for that because you deserve it. Okay? You totally deserve it. So let's start over here with a little pep talk. <laughs> and then we're going to... Uh, jump right into your blocks and some things that you may need to overcome, okay? Just to create a better, healthy, happier life. So let's see what's your overall energy right now. For those watching, what is your overall energy? Fool! That's so nice. And look at this, the lovers. Yeah, and I kind of feel like it's not necessarily... Um, a relationship it's not necessarily love it is love but it's love within you look at this beautiful strength this is my favorite card ever um it's about you being you it's about you finding your power it's about you finding the love and the the harmony between your both divine masculine and divine feminine energies it's about also you accepting who you are and i feel like you are on the path to to that energy on the path to that recognition of hey I've already went very far. To get to this place where I'm able to jump, I've already had to go through another cycle because this is the beginning of a cycle. And I had to go through another huge complete cycle to get here again. And I kind of feel like you don't give yourself enough credit for that. I feel like you don't recognize that. Recognize how far you had to go to be here at this beginning of a cycle again. All right? And this one, I do feel like it's going to be maybe a little bit better than the other one. Uh, not only because of that whole beach scenario, but um, because of this. Because now I feel like you are aware of your both energies and you are learning how to use them. You're learning how to live with them in a very positive way. I feel like possibly the cycle that you've been before was about releasing a lot of stuff, was about suffering a lot maybe but to recognize okay i suffered this because my divine feminine wasn't acknowledging that i suffered this because my divine masculine was not uh, aligned with who i am and i feel like now you know exactly what to do and you know exactly where to go and i feel like that's beautiful that's really amazing okay so let's see what is your best quality So, ooh, someone's intuitive. We have some Pisces energy here, by the way. Um, but you're highly intuitive. 
And I kind of feel like you don't know that. <laughs> I kind of feel like you, for it's, I feel like it's so natural that you don't call it intuition. And because I do feel like a lot of people struggle with intuition and you may be aware of that. Like, oh, intuition is something really hard to tap into. Intuition is something really hard to, I don't know, to connect with. Your higher self is something really hard for you. I, feel, I do feel like it comes very naturally. And um, with also this hanged man, I just feel like you have this really clear sense of, I feel like you think very well. Because you don't think in an overthinking way. Even though you may overthink, I feel like in the end you always get to the right decision. Because it is from your intuition. It's not from, um, it's not completely hard, it's not completely mind, it's somewhere in the middle. And I feel like, I do feel like that comes very naturally to you. And that's something beautiful that I feel like you don't, um, are really aware of. See with that temperance too. Oh, there's that whole beach scenario, right? And that's actually, um, closer to what I was getting than that lion is. But, um, I, I do feel like you go a lot with your flow. It's not really, it's not really about life's flow, even though that I feel like you also do, but you go with your own flow, with your own intuition, with what you feel like it's right for you in that moment. And sometimes you may overthink and sometimes you may question a lot of yourself. Don't, because in the end, whatever decision you make is the right one for you, okay? So what should you be proud of? What should you be proud of? Okay. That's a lot. But this page of cups here really wants to say hi. Let me see what we have here. We have the queen of cups. Four of Cups, you have been through a lot. Moon, yeah. But look at this, right here we have the Seven of Swords is being gone, where I kind of feel like this is you doubting yourself and you being like, oh no, this all, all these new beginnings, Fool, Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, all of this is just, no. It's just going to be the same thing, same old, you know, all over again. But it's it's not. It's not, because I do feel like that whole thing that we've been talking about, like your, um, you being very intuitive and you making the right decisions, I feel like that you've been training that. Has you've gone through, um, has you gone through all those challenges, you've been training that, you've been developing that, you've been developing your intuition and your awareness and confidence in your decision making. Even though it may not look like it, but it is, okay? You are, you are attuning your intuition. And you have been through a lot. I feel like someone came back from the past that wasn't really that nice. And we're not even came back from the past. I feel like it was just about the cycle. Because what I'm getting is that it was this, always the same type of person. You know, possibly always the same person who would say, oh, I love you so much, I will do anything for you. And then, boom, disappointment. And they would walk away, walls really high. You probably had to fight a lot for your career. And with this moon, you did have to go really deep. But because of that, you are now able to get those new beginnings, okay? So really be proud of everything that you've been through. Really be proud of everything that... Um, for some of you, you even went through a marriage with this higher fund, um, marriage and divorce, and it probably wasn't that easy, but it allowed you to be who you are today, and I do feel like you are an amazing person, okay? So let's see over here, what do you bring to the world? What do you bring to the world? Okay. I do feel like you're a really great guide. You know, that starfish is also guidance. And I do feel like you are a great guide for others, a great guide for your friends. With this hangman, it was the, the energy that we got here on your best quality. Um, hangman, temperance, and ten of cups. I feel like you, you make everyone around you so happy, so fulfilled. And it's, it's like you give them the love that they cannot have. Because I do feel like you may have some friends around you, or I'm, I'm getting that even your parents, uh, your parents may be divorced, and 
I kind of feel like you give them the love that they could not have with their partner. You give your friends the love that they cannot find in relationships. You know, you make them feel cherished. You make them feel appreciated. And that is such a beautiful thing. You bring a lot of love to this world. And also a lot of balance, a lot of healing, a lot of passion and gratitude. That's something that I'm getting, gratitude. Where people are grateful for you, are grateful for your friendship, for your love. And whoops, <laughs> this is supposed to go here. <laughs> um, and that is such a beautiful thing. Such a beautiful thing. And with that moon over there... Um, I don't know if you noticed, Pearl is not here anymore. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but there was like um, a, a spaceship and there was also a werewolf. You may actually resonate a lot with starseeds because for you to connect with this mission, because I kind of feel like this here may be your life purpose. This here, what you bring to the world, the love that you bring to the world, the guidance, the helpful hand may be definitely your mission, okay? You're raising the earth vibration. And you may definitely resonate as a star seed. Star seeds are people who come from other planets, other gal galaxies, other, you know, just other places not from Earth. And usually, star seeds here feel very, I don't belong here. This is not for me. When can I go home? You know, always feel out of place. When you were a child, possibly you never really fitted in. And you were always maybe considered a weirdo or, I don't know, maybe even your parents and your family said, oh, you have such weird tastes. And it is because you were starseed and you don't belong here. That's true. You're, this is not your place. But you came here with a mission. This is your mission, okay? Even if you do not resonate as a starseed, I kind of feel like your purpose is this. It's giving love. And for you to be able to give love, you needed to go through all those challenges for you to be able to know who to give love to, who deserves your love, who deserves your time, who deserves your energy, okay? So, let me see what's your block right now. Ooh, all right. So, we have the Queen of Swords in the Hierophant. You may be dealing with, we have some Taurus energy here. We, you could be dealing with a Taurus with a, an air sign. But I kind of feel like you're questioning a lot what to do in regards to a relationship. Not even a relationship. Maybe it's your relationship with your career, your relationship with your job. Like, am I supposed to give, the, give to this relationship? Am I supposed to put an end to this? I kind of feel like for most of you, you do want to. Or you are thinking about walking away. And you're questioning a lot, like, what should I do? What is the best thing for me to do? And the answer is quite clear. You know what you need to do. So just do it. What is your intuition telling you to do? Because you're already receiving information in regards to that. Okay, maybe you're not sure if a, a career path that you want to go towards is, um, that you want to take a leap of faith towards, right? is the right one for you you know if it is the right one for you you're not sure if you should invest on a new house you, you know what you need to do you do know and i feel like you are questioning a lot your thoughts you're questioning a lot your discernment and you have an amazing discernment we already saw that that is your best quality you know how to make a right decision and yet you question it so much Okay? You know. You just know. So let's see. How do we overcome this block? How to overcome this block? Okay. Um, be, be practical about stuff. With this Four of Cups, um, what makes you happy? It's almost like I do a... Um, um, a pro versus con list, you know, would this make me happy? What would be the pros? What would be the cons? Would this fulfill me? Would this be something that in the long term, in the long run, would actually be beneficial for me? Is this the right decision for me to make right now? What do I feel? 
where am I being asked to go towards? If I had to make a decision in one second, what would it be? You know, ask yourself a lot of questions and always ask for your happiness. Is this really going to make me happy? Is this really what I want? Don't think about the practical side of earth of like, um, is this really going to bring me stability? Is this really going to bring me, um, I don't know, money? You can think about that, but think about more how would it make you feel? It's not about the external stuff, it's about the inside stuff that really counts, okay? Because if you're, for example, about career, if you're thinking about going on to, towards a new project, if you're thinking about going, um, starting a new business, just anything, um, if it is aligned with you, if it makes you happy, it will bring you money, okay? Because you will be doing stuff in such a high vibration that you're manifesting abundance towards you. You're manifesting good energy towards you. And if you're doing it in like, oh, I'm going to go through the safe path because that's, that's, that's safer, right? Um, you could receive a lot of money, sure. It could be stable, but you wouldn't be happy. It wouldn't be aligned with your, with who you are. And eventually, it would come to this point where it would probably sort of fall apart, not necessarily lose your job, but you probably, I don't know, maybe people around you are getting a raise and you're not, you know? Stuff like that would start to happen, indicating you, hey, someone needs to make a shift because it wouldn't align with you. And how do you know if it aligns with you? If it is what you want, if it makes you happy, Okay. If it brings you joy, if you feel passionate about it, it's all about the inside. It's not really about the the outside stuff. Okay. So, what is the potential? If you ask those questions, if you do those stuff, can we get one more to fill that little space over there? <laughs> My Virgo side is screaming like, "Come on, you need a, another car there." All right. So we have the devil. And death. Look at this. I love this. No more toxic energy. Okay? No more unfulfilling jobs. No more, um, I don't know, beachy bosses or something like that, you know? No more. There could still be people like that. I kind of feel like there wouldn't. Um, but you wouldn't be able to deal with them. You would know how to deal with them. You would know what to do. And you would be able to move towards a new beginning, towards a new phase, happier. It could probably be a little bit scary in the beginning, but I feel like you would start to see, oh my God, this makes me so much happier. This makes me so alive. This brings me so much balance that, you know, I don't really care. I don't really care about that beachy boss. I don't really care if it's not how safe as, I, as the other job would be. You know, because it brings you balance and it is your freaking wish fulfillment. The star. And you just know, I gotta go. I gotta do it. Because it speaks to me. It's part of me. It's part of who I am. Okay. So let's pull over here some um, Believe in Your Magic. To get some more messages here for you. got three and it's interesting that we have here stars you can manifest your every wish yes you can yes you freaking can so let's see what are these three we have thrown your potential is endless again it's whatever whatever you want you can have it you can manifest it you just have to do it from a place of love from a place of yes this fulfills me from a place of, this is exactly what I want. This aligns with me perfectly. Trust yourself, okay? We also have storm, every hurricane comes to an end. And yours has come to an end. There may be still some, with this devil energy here, there may still be some, I don't know, some breadcrumbs from that 
past cycle that you've been through, but you're coming to another cycle, okay? I feel like right now you're in that limbo, in that transition space, um, but it comes to an end. And death, right after that devil, right after that toxicity, right after all those hurricanes and storms, all right? And also those doubts, believe in yourself. And believe in your heart and in your intuition, okay? And we also have, <laughs> don't doubt your worth, yeah. Don't doubt the things that you can have. Because they are yours, okay? This is who you're meant to be. This is what you're meant to do. So do it, all right? Do it. I actually want to read this throne. All right. So... At the risk of something cliche, you can do anything you put your mind to. You are a mighty queen, or king for that matter, uh, who is complex enough to be both gentle and valiant, just and magnificent, or any combination you should ever long for. The reason they tell you that you cannot have it all is because they're afraid you will become even more dangerous than you already are. So this is interesting. You may actually be getting like advice from people around you. Um, advice from, from your parents, advice from, you know, just anyone, and they may tell you, oh, you know, it's too risky, it's not stable, maybe you shouldn't go for it, you know, believe in yourself, because you can do it, be crazy, be a little crazy, okay, believe, um, well, let's pull to finish this off, some affirmation of it here. For those watching, what is the affirmation they must need right now? Yeah. All right. We have two. Actually, last week it was two, two. So that's funny. I rejoice in my employment. I appreciate the opportunity to help contribute to and serve others. I connect with the creativity of the universe and allow it to, th to flow through me in fulfilling ways. I'm going to repeat, I connect with the creativity of the universe and allow it to flow through me in fulfilling ways. If you feel like you should be doing something, if you were like, if you had an idea out of the blue, the universe is connecting with you. The universe is telling you, hey, this is a fulfilling way, okay? So, I rejoice in my employment and we also have, I am in the process of becoming my own best friend. The person I am most happy to be with. Loving myself unconditionally means accepting what is. In loving myself, I help create a, one, a world where it is safe for us to love each other. And this is interesting because it's that thing of that mission, right? Where I do feel like you're helping to raise the vibration and to create a really good, um, nice, loving world. So that's really cool. I am in the process of becoming my own best friend, the person I am most happy to be with. Okay, I just want to pull some last cards, um, just some messages and advice from the universe. Just in case we missed something. So, any message for those watching? Last message. All right. So, <laughs> yes, honey, yes, 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 this is real, okay, this is meant for you, so, new beginning, dude, the fool, what you've been through, it's gone, okay, every hurricane, hurricane comes to an end, you're starting a new cycle, where you are allowed to be yourself, where you are allowed to believe in your worth, where you are allowed to sit in that throne, okay, what are your dreams telling you? Follow those freaking dreams, okay? And if you have been having like a lot of dreams and really uh, vivid dreams, um, they definitely, well, they always mean something, I believe. So definitely check those dream uh, meanings, okay? There, I did a pick a card about dream interpretation, so you may want to check it out if that is the case. 
But with that being said, I love this, okay? Believe in yourself, empower yourself, go crazy, go start that new cycle for you, okay? So I believe in you, I wish you the very best. If this resonated, if it helped, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one, all right? Bye-bye.